Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my back to school stationery haul. I'll be showing you everything from my backpack to all the stationery I've bought for this academic year. Without further ado, let's get started. So my choice of backpack for this year is this Nike Air colourful backpack. I really like the design of this backpack, the colours are quite vibrant. I also really like how many pockets there are. There's quite a few zips so I can put anything that I want in my backpack and there will still be enough space. There's I think about 4 zips that I can open to put things inside as well as the water bottle compartment on the side. For this year, I decided to get this black matte and turquoisey water bottle. The best part about these water bottles is that there's a refill time on the side so I know how much water I have to drink in one day. And there's also a handle so I can pick it up. Overall, the design is really cute and it fits really nicely in my backpack as you can see. I prepare my own lunch in the morning and I do need a lunchbox so I decided to get this blue one and I really like how there's compartments because if I'm going to be honest I didn't eat a variety of foods for lunch last year so I'm definitely going to try and do that this year by adding in fruits and nuts for every lunch. Also I really like the design of this lunchbox and how it fits in really comfortably in my backpack as you can see. For this year's pencil case, I really really like the design because the daisies on the outside look so cute and I also like how spacious it is because it needs to be able to fit in everything like my calculator and all my stationery. This is the Casio Classwiz calculator and I'm going to be completely honest, this one is not actually new but I never properly got to show on camera. I really like how many modes there are, you can like switch from ratios to inequalities etc and overall it's just a really cool calculator. Now I've been wanting these pens forever but they were always out of stock so I finally got my hands on some of them. But I think everything about the pen is great, the nib is good and the grip is quite comfortable. It dries really quickly considering it's a gel pen and of course it writes quite smoothly as well. And the best part is it doesn't bleed through depending on the paper type but most notebooks I've tried this with it hasn't bled through yet which I think is great. I've been using the Pilot V-Ball 0.7mm black gel pens for quite some time and I mainly use them for like the subheadings of my notes and I think that the design of these pens is really good but one thing I would say is that if you're going to be writing with these pens for a long time just be aware that there isn't really a grip so your hands might get tired halfway through but overall I think the pen is really cool and the ink comes out quite smoothly. If you're going to be highlighting on top of these, then I would say that the ink dries a bit slower than the Pentel Energel ones, so it might smudge. Side note, I didn't actually buy a lot of pens this year because I have a lot of my Zebra Z Grip pens, which I normally use, left over because last year was a lot of online school and I didn't get to use them a lot. So I'm going to be using those this year as well, but they aren't exactly new. This year I decided to try out the Papermate mechanical pencils. I love mechanical pencils but I've never tried the Papermate ones but I know that these are available quite commonly so you can try them if you want to. The colours are quite vibrant and I think the design of the pencils are quite cute and there's also an eraser at the back if you want to rub anything out. Something that's really like specific about these pencils is that they only open by swirling like the nib bit and you don't have to press down on the eraser to get the lead out. They also write quite smoothly and you can also shade with these pencils because they are HP pencils so you can go from light to dark if you want to do something artistic. 
but the grip isn't comfortable so if you're going to be writing for a long time then I suggest you switch to a pencil with a grip rather than without. The eraser on the back also rubs quite well. If you want to see me unbox these zebra my liners then i actually have a video up on my channel which does that so i'll link that down below if you would like that but i have my zebra my liner brush pens and my normal highlighters as well which i'm going to be using for my highlighters this year and the highlighters have the chisel tip and a like fine tip whereas the brush pen has a fine tip and a brush tip Since I'm going into year 11, I bought a lot of flashcards early on because I know I'm going to be revising a lot and I use flashcards as my main revision method. But some of these I bought from Tesco's, some of these I bought from other stationery shops around the country and some of these are from famous brands like Sylvine. Next up, I'm going to be showing you smaller pieces of stationery that I bought for this academic year. So I bought some correction tape from Tipex and I also bought some Pritt glue sticks but I've been using these correction tapes for quite some time. Here you can see them in action but I just correct it and unlike the correction liquid I don't need to wait for it to dry. I can just instantly write on top of it because it is tape. The Helix Oxford 30cm foldable ruler. This is definitely my go-to ruler. I've been using it for literally all of secondary school and it's very detailed. You can see the millimeters and centimeters and the best part is is that it folds. So if you have a smaller pencil case, you can fold the 30cm ruler into a 15 one to ease carrying it around. And here is me just testing it out. Nothing much to say because it is just a ruler and you can't really test it out because it will be a straight line. Now the Helix rubber, it does nothing much to say but it's quite soft and it instantly rubs anything without leaving a trace. I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to use this sharpener this year because I did buy mechanical pencils but overall I think it looks quite cute and I got it from Tesco's. So you might be wondering why I bought this notebook which is kind of the size of my hand but I bought it just to make to-do lists in this book. You may or may not have seen my 10 ways to fill your notebooks video, it is still my most popular one. But in that video I talked about having a to-do list book and this is going to be my new one basically. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and comment down a yellow heart if you made it to the end.